Hello, my name is Catalina Herrera and today I'm gonna use a Spotfire and a Statistica from Tipco to generate a card regression tree to predict production based on historical well production information. So the scenario is historical data that is coming from, it can be multiple data sources, multiple data tables, after you join the tables, clean the data, transform the data, you have a final table. And that final table is going to have your operator information, for example, geographical location, latitude and longitude. And then you have some completions and geology from historical information where you are aggregating that into a production number for that well. It can be monthly, it can be the last 30 days, it can be anything after you processed that data and cleaned the data table, okay? So this is your data table that is giving you your historical production information per well. So the scenario here is we are gonna use this data and we are gonna go to Statistica, create a card regression tree model. We're gonna predict production and then we're gonna use a new clean sample set that has only preliminary information. So let's pretend that this is an undeveloped area and that we have completions and geology as a preliminary sample and we want to predict production based on the model that we're gonna calculate using this historical information. So that's the scenario. Uh, in this specific case we want to use a statistica because it has way more um, embedded, way more out-of-the-box advanced statistics for that citizen data scientist. So within uh, CART models, within child models, we have the I-trees where we have the regression and the classification. So we have all the variation here. So the menu here is very, very user-friendly. Therefore, I want to show how to connect these two software and uh, how to uh, like increase and leverage the power of a spot fire when you can go back and forward using a menu like this one for all the advanced statistics and a canvas like this one for the user interface and push that back to spot fire and leverage all the visualization power that spot fire gives you so for that, we're going to start bringing the data into Statistica. And uh, because the two products are from Tipco, we can connect the two products together. So we can actually import data from a spot file. The only thing here is to ensure that we have the path for the file that we want to bring. In this specific case, we're going to bring the existing data, which is the historical data that is giving me my um, completions and geology and all the data that we showed before. So the key point here is to click play and ensure that the node is running properly and that we can see and preview the data as the way that we expected. So we have latitude, longitude, completion, geology and production which is going to be our predictor. Okay so once we have that we can actually start creating our model so in this case, I'm going to use the iTrees that has all of these uh, options and I'm going to start with the cart regression tree to predict production based on this historical well production data. Okay, so in this specific case, key point will be to generate the model, select the variables, who is who, who is your predictor or dependent, which ones are the categorical, continuous, and so on. So in this specific case, my production is my dependent. I'm not going to add any categorical predictors. I'm going to use only continuous predictors for this example. And I'm going to use completions and geology. OK, so once I click OK, I can ensure that as part of the output, I want to provide predicted values. Uh, I want to see them. So once I click OK and I run the model, I can actually see how Statistica automatically generates everything for me. The first um, 
node is going to be the actual PLM, PMML model that I can eventually uh, export and deploy to some other software like a real-time scoring using a stream base from typical Spotfire as well uh, or some other applications but in this case we're going to focus on the rapid deployment that is going to allow me to configure this way more so we can actually add some data here after we evaluate what we want to do. Keep in mind that the reporting document also provides all the results from this preliminary model that we just generated and you can actually go farther into the statistics itself. So you have the results of the model, you have the predictor importance, the risk estimates and everything that you will, may want to know about that specific model. Okay, now the next step will be to actually score the model using the undeveloped data. So keep in mind that in our scenario, we want to bring a completely different set of data to test that model and to actually see what will be the predicted production based on the model that we just created in statistics. So for that, we need to bring a second data table. So it's going to be a second data table from Spotfire. And in this case, I just want to control this step by step. So it's going to be a second data table from Spotfire. And that second data table is going to have the undeveloped data that has preliminary completions and geology information and is the one that I want to use to score that model. So I'm just going to run the node, be sure that we have data, be sure that we are okay. We have latitude, longitude, completions, geology, and as you can tell, production column is empty because this is the preliminary undeveloped data. So let's keep this very nice and organized. And for that, I'm just going to rename this node and I'm going to call it undeveloped. And I'm going to rename this node and I'm going to call it existing. So this is the historical data, existing data, undeveloped data, preliminary data. And now we can actually fit this <coughs> into a model. So we're going to fit it into the model that we just generated. And the only thing that we need to ensure is that we save the predicted and residuals from that model. We want to save everything because I want to really see the entire table with all the columns. So I'm going to say that, okay. And that we provide the input data predictors and residuals. So we can actually see that in the table and we can actually populate that column with the predicted value. Okay, so to finish with, we want to visualize this back to Spotfire. So let's run this node, be sure that everything is okay. We automatically will close the cycle with all the reporting of the results of everything that we are doing. So we could easily see in here in Statistica, we can actually see the results of the predicted column here. But we want to push this back to Spotfire so we can actually visualize it on a map, for example, and uh, generate some additional visualizations using what we are already very familiar with, which is the Spotfire software. So let's push this back to Spotfire. I'm going to add a new node. And the new node is going to have an output. So we can actually call it, for example, a score model. And we're going to just be sure that it's located in a place that we know where to find it. And in this specific case, just need to ensure that we are working with that path. Okay, so now this output is going to go to that Spotfire node. And I can actually see it. So once I click the play, everything comes together. Uh, it's a nice cycle because here you have the results for everything. But the key point here is being able to visualize the results of all the model and everything in this node, but at the same time, bring this table back 
into Spotfire to see the results. So in our scenario, within the undeveloped table, we can actually add a second data table that is going to have the same latitude, longitude, completion, some geology information. And in addition to that, it's going to have a result of the model predicted column that we can visualize in a Spotfire in a very easy way. So here you have your advanced regression tree card prediction. And this is the column that we were looking for. So now we have one result per well, latitude, longitude, completion, geology, and then we have our predicted production. So from this data, we can actually go ahead and do what we are very used to do using a spot fire. So we can actually use the score model table. That is the output that we are bringing from Statistica. And uh, we can start visualizing this in different ways. We have the latitude and the longitude over here. And we can even uh, color by that prediction so we can see where are we expecting to have more production based on the completions and the geology information. We can even color by where we can see the nice areas of interest and the not so much areas of interest. We could add a contour plot here and continue with the analysis. And now we have the advantage of having this in a spot fire where we can do everything that we are very used to do and say, you know what, I just want to want to focus here, give me an overview of uh, what do we have here, and we can even uh, group it, visualize everything else that we need to visualize. We can actually see things like the completions and the geology or any other information that I want to add based on these visualizations. We can focus on a specific well if we want to. We can drill down and understand exactly which one is that well, what is the idea, or so on. In other words, we can combine the very powerful um, team work between the Spotfire and Statistica, where you can create way more advanced data models in a very easy way, and you can tweak and control the tweaks from the model. So if you want to change something here, if you want to do something like uh, give me a specific output uh, that you want to control, instead of a 3, give me a 2%, or give me just 40 child nodes, or give me just a maximum of 8 values, or whatever, just click OK, run it again, go back here, and just say reload data, and you have all the analysis in Spotify already done where you can see the results of all the tweaks of the model that you are doing. So very, very powerful combination and very easy to visualize all the results within Spotify. I hope that this has been helpful and I see you next time.